Around a year ago, I posted a video on a Spider-Man game that came out on September 10th, 2014. Nine years ago, that was one of the first Spider-Verse games to come out after Shattered Dimensions. And that game was Spider-Man Unlimited. Spider-Man Unlimited was a mobile game that was created by a studio named Gameloft. And even though a lot of people usually don't care for mobile games, this one was special to Spider-Man fans. Despite its similarities to popular mobile games like Temple Run and Subway Surfers, Spider-Man Unlimited gave it a different approach to introduce combat, wall crawling, diving, and swinging to the mix. But what fans really loved about this game was the insane amount of different Spider-Man suits and Spider-Verse characters that it had. Spider-Man Unlimited had over 400 suits and characters that were all tied to the Spider-Verse. Not to mention all the villains as well. When I first played this game, I never truly realized how many different Spider-Man characters there was. This was truly one of the best Spider-Man games out there. Unfortunately though, this game was shut down years after its release and this upset a lot of Spider-Man fans. The game was probably shut down because of licensing, which is usually why these games disappear. But today we can finally play Spider-Man Unlimited once again, thanks to modders and a creator named Zen Gaming. Not only did they bring the game back, but they also made it better, adding more suits and characters from other Spider-Man games. I honestly don't know how they were able to achieve this, but all I can say is thank you. If you guys want to get the game for yourselves, I'm going to leave a link to the Discord of this project down below, plus the creator and all the modders who worked on this. Make sure you guys show them some support. Anyways, let's play some Spider-Man Unlimited. Spider-Man Unlimited. Man, the game is back. Well, kind of back. You can't necessarily download this on the iOS store or the Android store, but you can get this on your Android device. Unfortunately, iPhone never is usually able to, you know, benefit off of things like this. But uh, yeah, this is Spider-Man Unlimited. I remember the last time I played this, it was kind of a different version because that one was the actual game, but it was just a save before they closed the game on the app store. Y'all see it though. We got Silk on the screen right now, the Cindy Moon. I've been using her for a little while, but let me show y'all what team I'm rocking with. So I have Silk right here, nice. And then I got Jessica Drew, the ultimate Black Widow. And then Superior Spider-Man, you gotta have Superior Spider-Man. Classic Spider-Man. Then we got Assassin Spider-Man. Big time Spider-Man, the stealth version. The manga verse Spider-Man with the book bag. We got Scarlet Spider-Man. Ends of the Earth Spider-Man. I think this is like what, Armored Spider-Man or something like that. Then we got a nice little Little battle damage spider-man the bombastic spider-man bulletproof spider armor cosmic spider-man yes sir you already know i love this one house of m spider-man future foundation spider-man and i believe that's it so even though it says total spideys collected 21 out of 146 i don't think there is 146 in just yet and i know that 146 isn't even the actual amount because in the game that i played before I had 400 and like 30 Spider-Mans, like Spider-Mans that I've never heard of ever. I'm pretty sure that they're going to update this game though and add the rest, but uh, this is where you can recruit Spider-Mans. I kind of recruited all the ones that I think you can get, but I do think I can get one. Let me see what I tell you, Spider-Man Noir. That's literally my favorite Spider-Man, bro. But well, where's your jacket and cap at, man? These that. Let's go ahead and do another one. Let's see. Ugh, not the Secret Wars. Ugh, doo -doo. All right, let's open up one more. Let's see. We got the same damn suit. Wow. All right. And what's cool is, is if you get any duplicates, all you got to do is go to rank up, go to the character, click the duplicate, and now you can level them up. Reach rank five. Yes, sir. Cool. Oh, almost got that one maxed out. Before I get into the gameplay, though, I want to show y'all the cutscenes. I know some of y'all haven't seen these in a while. Did you get a new outfit? Blowout sale at the bad guy Long John Emporium? The worst part about every new dimension is hearing the same tired jokes. Those jokes, man. When we're done gathering the ISO 8, we're going to shut your mouth for good. New dimension? ISO 8? Have you been sampling your granddad's cough medicine again? Playtime is over, webhead. The Sinister Six will make sure of it. <laughs> Shoot, this is uh, what came out 2015, right? So this is like one of Yuri's first time being Spider-Man. Oh boy, I think so, right? Either this guy just got his first case of acne, or something bad is happening. Spider-Man. Nick Fury. This can't be good. You got that right. That Green Goblin isn't the one you're familiar with. He's from a dimension where the Sinister Six has taken control. 
And he's bringing an army of villains with him. Why? Is all their pizza deep dish? What? No! They've come to harvest a rare isotope called ISO-8 from our world. In exchange, they'll leave the gift of total destruction. The longer that portal stays open, the harder they'll be to stop. But you're here to give me the instruction manual so I can swing over and save the day, right? It isn't that simple. Our intelligence shows that the rift is being held open by one of the members of the Sinister Six. The problem is, we don't know who it is or where they're hiding. You need to take them out one by one until we close this thing. Otherwise, New York is gonna get some nasty new residents, and I'm not talking about the hipsters. And this is what I got after when I defeat one of the bosses or going through their issues. So this one it was Goblin. It's not like the cinematic before, but it's a little nice little comic. Fury is all like, good job, Spider-Man, and then here comes a new villain. Vulture. Then this is the next one. We punched on Vulture. Nice. Ripped them wings off. And oh, Spidey senses. Here come a new villain. The Electro. Yeah. And that's what we're on right now. Now, I didn't play this game back in the day, but now that I'm playing it now, I definitely can see why people were addicted to this. Like, you could easily get trapped just playing this for quite a bit of a time. Now, if you're wondering how I'm playing this right now, I am not using an Android device. I'm actually using my PC. And that's because I'm using the Bluestacks emulator, which is an Android emulator for the PC. Hold up, hopping through the window. Nice. Now we about to fight Electro classic electro but uh yeah i'm going to make sure down in the description that i'm going to uh put the info for the creators for this and the discord should have the download link and i believe they have the tutorial to download this but i do know when you download this and you want to recruit characters of your own you got to make sure that you set your phone back to 2015 or else it wouldn't work gonna give y'all that information hella early just so that you know because i was very confused when i first downloaded this I couldn't recruit any characters. I was like, what's going on? But we only got to hit him a little bit more. Do that. Jump over this. Pop. Go to the right. Now. One more. Come on. Wait, what? All right, here's the last one. Here we go. Mink, 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 mink. Get him out of here. Night, night. Easy. Here we go. Got the Cosmic Spider-Man suit. Ooh. Looking good. One of my favorite suits, man. It's funny though. I've had comments under my video saying this suit is ugly. Tripping, man. Completely tripping. Uh oh, here we go. Swinging segment. Get those. There we go. Try going under the bridge. Yeah, go under the bridge. I missed those. All good though. Come down here. Nice. Now that I'm playing this, I'm thinking about like what other Spider Man games I can play because I kind of played 90% of them. You know, I have been wanting to play like Marvel Alliance and uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, but those aren't Spider-Man games. Maybe I might just have to play some of the other games again, bro. That's how thirsty I am right now. Especially with Spider-Man 2. Where the DLC at? I need those. There's also another game I've been eyeballing, which is Marvel Heroes Omega. It's like an MMO that was just like DC Universe, but Marvel. But it got shut down like this one. Wait, hold up. Ultimate Electro. But uh, yeah, Marvel Heroes Omega, it's a game that came out got shut down just like this but there's another team working on that to bring it back so i've been following that might see a video on that game sooner or later i'm not sure how many stories this game has like i already did the goblin one i already did uh vulture and then this is electro i'm hoping they got carnage in here and venom i think they do but i'm not quite sure that one bop uh-huh slide under get out my way Jump over that Yep, this, that one, jump, drop, slide, yep. Be one more, and he's out of there. Here we go. Mink, 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 mink. And he's a goner. Anyways, it's time to open up another one. Let's see who we getting. <gasps> we got Spider Gwen. Let's go. I guess this situation could use a woman's touch. Bless me up again. Come on. Let's me up. Oh, no. We got the classic Spidey. Like <laughs> it's wonderful that you can be so chipper in the face of your death. It will make it all the more fun to kill you. That's not really an answer to my question, but whatever. Alrighty. Got the superior Spider-Man. 
Now, there's one thing I kind of wanted to talk about, which is something that happened with Insaniac, and that is the whole thing with the hacking. Bruh, that is so bad, bro. Like, I seen some of it, but the fact that, like, that happened to them, I think that Wolverine is going to get canceled. And I really, really wanted that Wolverine game. Like, there was some other stuff about, you know, Spider-Man 2 and some other Spider-Man stuff, but I'm not going to say anything to, like, spoil or anything. But the stuff that they showed for Wolverine... It looked cool and all, but they leaked the whole story. They leaked a lot of like spoiler type stuff. And I think that it might be too much of a loss for Insaniac if they were going to post a game nowadays. So they might cancel it. And it kind of is making me mad that that happened to them, to be honest. But let me know down below what y'all think about that, man. Because it sucks for them, honestly. Hold up. We're on a swinging moment. And I freaking failed. Hey. Hold on. Continue. I don't care. Bring out silk. Head jump there. This way. Nice. Jump out of that. That one right there. Yup. This way. Getting hectic. Huh. One more. Or no, two more. And jump this way. Here's the last one. Let's go. Mink, 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 mink. Time to count your days. Get him out of here, coach. All right, one more. Bless me up. Bless me up. No, not the spider armor. They are not blessing me at all on these rolls. But if you were curious on what you could get for this one, you can get Iron Spider, Into the Earth, Spider Man, Electro Proof, Big Time, Sonic. Yep. My boy, Sensational Spider Man, Ben Riley. Battle damage, we already have that one. Spider armor, so that's the spider armor. Isn't this spider armor mark two then? I think, definitely, we got 2099 there. We got Last Stand Spider-Man. Got the classic Superior Spider-Man there. We got this Scarlet Spider, the Ben Riley version. Uh, another 2099. Oh, we got Mayday, Spider-Girl. I already got this one, Cyborg Spider-Man. I got this while I was leveling up my characters earlier. And we on to the next one. So after this one, we have another Electro and then we should be done with this issue and see if we have any more villains that we can fight. Speaking of Electro, this is probably one of my favorite versions of Electro because I really like the blue style of him. I don't care for the yellow one. Ooh, I don't care for the yellow one. I don't care for the blue live action one. Even though he's blue, I just eh, didn't really fit right with me. Uh, I don't like the comic one with that mask. I'm gonna be honest. That mask kind of look goofy. The blue one is just right, bro. Looks the best. I think the only game that really had the blue one was Shattered Dimensions, right? And then the one in Ultimate Spider-Man was yellow, I think. Gosh, it's already been like, what, a year since I played that game? I can't even remember. Ah! Uh, wow. Hold on. What's this? Stay away from those. And go below. Nice. It's kind of funny though, these uh, Subway Surfer Temple Run games have been around for a while. Like, there's so many different versions of these games. They even made like a Ben 10 one. They made a Ben 10 one, they've had like Disney ones. Like, they have so many, bro. Because the Temple Run games, they was eating back then. Oh my goodness. I used to be jealous. People with like iPod touches and um, the iPhone, what, 3? Gosh, that was a minute ago. I was one of them people like, you got games on your phone? Yup, that was me. Got that Temple Run? Let me play that. But well, we only got to hit Electro one more time. Or two more times. There we go. Mink, 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 mink. And he's a gunner. Huh, so I have a team Spidey Power of 25, but I need a team Spidey Power 28 to continue this. Well, that's going to take me a while, so I think I'm just going to end it here. I kind of just wanted to play the game, give it a little test, see how much I had. And it has a quite a bit. Like, you could play this for a few hours and... You're good. It's enough content for you. But you guys, I'm going to leave the Discord and the YouTube channel of the people who've been working on this game so that you can find it out, support them and whatnot. But uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.